And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking north on 13th Street North. Had a nice amount of sunshine here today. Saw lots of people sitting out enjoying their cups of coffee on the patio. 22 degrees is where we're at. That is our daytime high. We've been there since 3 o'clock this afternoon. 8 degrees was our low. We hit that at 2 a.m. Humidity levels at about 41% right now. All over still have that red-orange coloration indicating those warmer temperatures. Uh, as we said, 22 degrees in Lethbridge. We're in the 20s all over west of the Continental Divide. You see temperatures looking pretty healthy there as well. Still watching that big low pressure center moving in off the BC coast, but of course we have an area of high pressure in southeastern BC and one in southern Alberta at the surface. Now some of this cloud level is mid-level cloud, so it'll be drifting over and that's what we're seeing uh, in the forecaster and you'll see that indicated uh, as the loop continues. We're expecting to see tomorrow to see some of that cloud cover move in. Now this is active precipitation and it will be pretty much north of the elbow of Alberta, but some areas just to the south there are showing a possibility of seeing some shower activity. I'm not sure you're going to be seeing that in the earlier part of the day, probably the latter part of the day with daytime heating triggering some convective activity. Down east is where the, re the real weather maker is going to be over the next few days. The remnants of Tropical Storm Andrea moving up the eastern seaboard is going to be affecting maritime provinces late tomorrow night, uh, causing heavy rainfall, strong winds as this becomes uh, trub trops uh, <laughs> subtropical and heads into to the open waters in the Maritimes and then uh, Atlantic Canada. So by Sunday, gale force winds could be experienced in parts of Newfoundland and Labrador. 24 degrees in Winnipeg right now, 22 in Regina, 19 in Saskatoon. The trough that moved over us last night has stalled in Saskatchewan. So they're expecting Friday and Saturday to be pretty damp there. 21 degrees in Edmonton, 27 in Kelowna right now, 20 and a sun and cloud mix in Vancouver, sun and cloud in Whitehorse right now and in Yellowknife. They had a sun and cloud mix for the bulk of the day, but uh, also seeing some off and on shower activity in that area. East Kootenai, you're looking at a chance of that evening sh thunder shower activity, 14 degrees for an overnight low, and then tomorrow, late in the day tomorrow, you could see that reoccurring again, but the bulk of the day will be sun and cloud, 26 degrees for a high. Crow's Nest Pass, partly cloudy tonight, 14 for a low. Tomorrow, sun and cloud, again, for the bulk of the day, that chance of late day, evening shower, thunder shower activity. Medicine Hat, same scenario, partly cloudy cloudy tonight, 14 for a low. That chance of late day shower, thunder shower activity when you hit 28 degrees. And we'll hit 28 as well tomorrow. So expect that possibility as you're heading out for your evening activities. You know, you might want to pack an umbrella because of that shower activity and a chance of a thunder shower. So be aware of that. There's your five day forecast as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Slightly cooler, but really nice conditions. Lots of sunshine, not very windy as we get into Saturday and Sunday. It will be windy tomorrow, gusting to 70 here in the afternoon. And then as we get into Monday and Tuesday, temperatures start that climb back up into the mid-20s is what it looks like for Wednesday and Thursday. Now, this is part one of a three-part series. A hundred-year celebration is coming up for Southminster United Church. The cornerstone of this church was laid on June 17, 1913. The building cost $94,952, furnishings cost $4,415, and the site was worth $20,000. A lot has changed in 100 years, and for the next 8 to 10 months, the time it took to build the church, events will be held to mark the milestone. We are celebrating 100 years of the building, not our congregation, not our church, but the building. And so we are planning to uh, use uh, eight to 10 months, which is the time that it took to build the church to celebrate the building itself. And the building holds an unbelievable history. Helen Keller once spoke here. In 1913, the city was small and the powerhouse people, including the Galts and the Staffords, were the financial builders. They were the ones who were not always that kind and thoughtful to the, um, the, the Catholics who arrived from, from Eastern Europe and, uh, you know, they shunned them and um, they, they uh, put the Chinese people in separate parts of the city. I did take the opportunity to ask Amy, who also sewed the costumes for the upcoming celebrations, if she'd ever like to go back in time to 1913. Women were second class, Chinese people were second class, natives were being terribly uh, badly treated. Uh, I don't think I would step back in time for those reasons. 
So it's nice to try the clothes on for one day. Yes. <laughs> Story brought to you by Langenberg Optical, once again voted best of the best.